Wait, what is that? I think it's a dinosaur. made a little inventory of all the food that I was given in the last 15 minutes. Wow. <laughs> Before this, all I had was oatmeal. And now I've got all this stuff, bread, packets of sauce or something, I'm not quite sure, and then and these things. Just so grateful to the people. They don't know how much this means. I was totally out of food, apart from oatmeal. And just water and oatmeal and nothing else is a bit boring. Um, so I'm still going to probably eat some oatmeal just to make this food go a bit further. Um, but wow, I've got food. Dun, 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 dun. Just past one of those checkpoints, and uh, yeah, one of the guys there with quite a scary looking rifle uh, asked if he, he could take a selfie with me. I said, That's fine. And then I asked if I could take a selfie uh, for myself with this camera. It was fine. Um, I think it helps that this camera doesn't have a screen, so they can't really see what's happening. Um, but I took a little bit of video. I don't know how that turned out, but that was one of the checkpoints in China on the roads. So there you are, you got to see that. Um, and I should be in the city in about an hour. So the plan, the plan when I get to the city is to find, I've seen a youth hostel, Hopefully it will be a, a good youth hostel, cheap, and there might be some other travellers there, which, which is what I want, because uh, I haven't spoken proper English other than to a camera for a little while. Um, so <laughs> hopefully there'll be some other travellers there that I can speak to, and I want to try and get my other camera fixed, because that camera is broken. Um, I don't know what happened, but it's just stopped working. I need to try and find someone that can fix it. That's the plan. I am getting a bit tired. A bit tired. Nepal. Nepal. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm cool. in Nepal. In the monastery. Yeah. <laughs> in the monastery. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I have uh, been there um, three years. <laughs> you're 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 a monk? Or? No, I'm not no, a no. monk. Just study. <laughs> wow. What, yeah. what are you studying? Meditation. Meditation. Yeah, just uh, thinking. Yeah. Ah, meditation. Yeah, meditation. meditation. Sure. Yeah. Ah, okay. Sometimes the, you know your thinking is not follow you. Maybe it's just um, thinking too much. Okay. Yeah, but uh, just let let it go. Let 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 it come. Let it go like that. You're thinking. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Uh -huh. So how old are you now? What do you think? Guess. Maybe twenty two, twenty. I'll go 24 is okay. 24, right? <laughs> no, I'm only 20. 20. Uh, just 20. Just 20, oh, but yeah, I'll take so 24. <laughs> Maybe travel make you. Maybe. Yeah. Tomorrow. yeah, yeah. One here has just fixed my camera. Thank you so much, man. I spent hours fixing it. 
but it's finally fixed. I've now got a working camera and I'm very excited to start using it again. So thank you very much. And I've got these cards. Not that I can read it. Okay, show show, thank you very much. Check this out. I've got a working camera. I'll be able to take some night shots, I'll be able to take some videos with this camera. Uh, not that this camera's bad, but the audio of this uh, little Yi camera is not so good. So I'm very excited. But that's it, in Dung Huang. And uh, yeah, feeling, feeling good. Looking for a bike shop, can't find one. Ah. So I need a bike shop because I need to get a lock. I lost my padlock a few months ago and I haven't really needed one. But now I need one and I need to get one. So I'm gonna keep going and try to get killed in Dong Hua. I'm going, I'm going. Do you speak uh, English? Do you speak English? Uh, Yinguan? A little. A little, yeah. I I'm looking for bike lock. Like a uh, padlock, uh, uh, security lock for a bicycle. <laughs> One second, we'll, we'll, we'll look it up on it. Yeah, do you, do you know this one? Oh, yeah, you have? <laughs> Brilliant. Ah, perfect. Look at this. It's great. Cool. One bike lock bought. Uh, now I want to get some food. And then I'm heading out towards some caves, because today I'm going to be a tourist. Uh, yes. It seems the entrance to the caves is about six miles before you get to the caves. It seems I have to go through this, this building behind me uh, and see a couple of movies, apparently. They're showing a couple of films, and then I can get through. And they're just not letting me cycle, because uh, there was this little road on the map, and I thought, wow, that looks fun. I'll cycle down this road, see the caves, but I can only cycle to here apparently. So I've got to leave my unicycle here and head off without it. Uh, so it's locked up, I've got the lock now, and I'm going to check out, see what this is all about, but China's weird. Bye bye unicycle! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cool, so I'm in the Mugao Caves, or by them. You're not allowed to film inside, so I haven't really got any footage inside. Uh, but I was just part of some tour group. It seems the, the Chinese, well, I knew this anyway, but they like to, uh, they like to group people up and herd them like sheep. <laughs> but no, I was part of a tour group, and, and Michael, our tour guide, was very good. The scholars never stop warning us. If uh, not control and open all the caves to the visitors, we were lost in this culture in 50 years. That's the worst part. The change in nearly 30 years is bigger than a thousand years. He was saying that in 50 years, uh, just because of the amount of people that are coming to see them, uh, these caves are just going to be destroyed uh, just because of the carbon dioxide that you're breathing out uh, and the heat that people's bodies are taking into the caves and just people being here is just deteriorating the, uh, uh, the ancient history, which is uh, a bit of a shame, really. <laughs> I don't think I should be here. Hey, how you doing? You alright? You seem to have lost your arms. You look a bit angry about that. Oh God, you've lost even more. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you're like, well, whatever. I lost my arms, still got my, my legs. Uh, kind of, you lost some toes. I think I spent too much time taking that time lapse uh, just back there. And now there's not really anybody around. <laughs> but at the moment, I'm, I'm alone. There's nobody, there's nobody here. Uh, <laughs> so I think we need to get a move on and get back to the buses. There's no buses. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and catch a ride with somebody. I did miss the last bus, uh, but luckily I found these kind of people, <laughs> and they uh, they gave me a lift. So that's uh, really kind. Of <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have been a bit stranded because there was no other, no other cars. I think they were the last car leaving. 
So thank you very much. <laughs> so, otherwise I'll be walking this road. <laughs> You're down, down here. Just down here and I can do cross. you jump? Yes, okay. of course. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that was really nice of them. If it wasn't for those people, I don't know what I would have done. Alright, let's try and cross this road without getting killed. I can't go that way because there's a bush and I can't get into the car park. Ah, China love their walls. There you are. Have you missed me? Hello. <laughs> so, you all right? <laughs> Do you speak English? Uh, Yingguan? <laughs> I like your, your dog. <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't get so close. <laughs> hey up, me again. So on this trip, I've frequently been asked, Ed, unicycling around the world is great and all, but are you doing it for a particular cause? It's funny you should ask that Santa Hat guy. Yes I am. I'm raising funds and awareness for the charity School on the Back. The team, based in Somerset, England, manufacture, fill and distribute little red rucksacks and send them all over the world to children in dire need of learning resources. Every single red rucksack sent out contains exercise books, lines squared and plain, pencils, colouring pencils, pens in a pencil case, a ruler, a math set, a water bottle, a bowl, a plate and my favourite, a little red spork. The cost to manufacture, fill and deliver one school bag to one child is only £20. So if you can spare the money and would like to support this amazing initiative, please head over to my charity donation page, uk.virginmoneygiving.com slash worldunicycletour. The link is in the description. If you enjoy my videos and want to be notified every time I upload a new one, hit that little red subscribe button. And if you could share this video, it'll help me reach a larger audience to share this message. Cheers, and I'll see you next week for the next installment of Ed Unicycles China. Oh yeah. Oh dear.